Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 124. I'm Nate Moore. Today what we're going to do is a different kind of chart. Let's just start with this information. What I have is for some payer. I have my monthly collections from that payer and the percent of bill charges that they're paying. So you can see my collections went up for a little while, now they're dropping, but the percent of bill charges I'm collecting has been going up and I want to show that on one chart. So I'm going to go to the insert menu and let's put it in a column chart to start with. And as you look at it, let's see if I can move this up so you can see what, come on, so you can see what's going on. The collections number is up to just a little bit over 400,000 in February, but percent of bill charges isn't showing up at all because the percentage of bill charges, let's just slide this over just a touch, is still 43, let's move this back a little so you can see 43%, 43%. 43% is not going to show up on a graph going from 0 to 400,000. The way to make this percent of bill charges show up, there's a bunch of ways. You could change the scale of this axis. You could do a couple of different things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Layout tab, and I'm going to scroll down here and get Series Percent of Bill Charges, and you can see it highlighted very I mean, invisible down there. We're going to right-click and change the Series Type to a Line. And now it at least shows up, but it's very, very small. And then let's come back, and I'm going to do percent of bill charge. Let's format the selection this time. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the series on the secondary axis. By doing that, now what I have is collections are on this axis, and the percent of bill charges is over here. And I think what we can do is a couple of things. Let's maybe move the legend maybe at the bottom. So my chart shows up. Let's do a chart title above the chart that says collections and percent of bill charges. And that's kind of too big for what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is let's come over here to home and let's knock that down so it fits. And then we can even drag it up a little bit. And I can make my chart if I want. Come on. A little bit bigger. So now I've got a pretty good story for what I'm trying to show. Um, the other thing you can do is you can drag this tile around if it'll help me. And now it's maybe just a little bit more. It's a little more centered. And what you can do now is show that, hey, collections went up for a little bit and now the dollar collections are going down, but the percent we're actually collecting has gone way up from a low in March. It's gone way up. And so if you just look at one story and say, hey, we're collecting a lot more, that look, or a higher, lot higher percentage, that may look good. We're collecting a lot lower dollars. That may be bad. And the question is, okay, are, it looks to me like maybe we are not billing as much to this payer because our collections are going down even though our percentage is going up. You can show that entire story on this chart. If you want to play with axes, what you can do is go over to Layout. And then on the axis side, you can put titles on either side. if it, like a se Now I've got a secondary horizontal and a secondary vertical axis title. Now the secondary horizontal axis title, I'm not, I'm, let me just show you, goes right there and that doesn't mean anything to me. But the secondary vertical axis title does. What I'm going to do is do a rotated title that says, maybe we could do something like percentage, oh, I'd like to capitalize, collections. And by doing something like that, now I can see that this is dollars, whoa, come here. This is dollars and this is percentage of collections and show the whole story on there. That's what I wanted to show you today. Once the chart is put together, we selected the second series, changed its chart series type, and then we we're able to customize the y-axis. You can customize that y-axis all day long if you'd like. Let's just do one thing, for, um, let's do the number get rid of the decimal and click close. Now I've just got that percentage there without the decimal. It may be very helpful for you to try to put multiple pieces of information in one chart to save space on your dashboard. Hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned. Next time we'll play another trick with Excel charts. Thanks for watching.